some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. You know, today I was just going to take a relaxed day, just make a couple of YouTube videos, and do some uh, light, uh, deep cleaning around my apartment, do my grocery shopping for the month, and then relax for the rest of the day by watching TV or playing with my PlayStation or whatever. But no, I saw this event happening, and I just had to say something about it. So let's go ahead and get this freaking S show on the road, shall we? What is going on out there in the land of the unfree America? If you are referencing your currently deleted channel, then that is a rather misleading statement as to what the facts currently are. YouTube is not a government organization. It is a privately owned entity that so it can make its own rules and regulations governing its own platform. And apparently somebody on your channel, you or somebody else, have been violating the terms of service. So the only ones that are to blame are the ones that have access to your YouTube channel, you brain dead buffoon. Hopefully our, our core crowd from Delete Laws will come over. Your core crowd? Yeah, your allegedly purchased subscribers? Yeah, the only way they're going to come back is if you pay them to do so. By the way, do you have any uh, available cash to do that now? Just asking for a friend. Listen, you know, it's just, it's part of the game. I've had over 5 million subscribers deleted from TikTok, and it's just part of the game. It's just the way it is. They do this, and... What am, what am I gonna do? Cry? <laughs> yeah, it's alright for you to cry for a little while, Chili. Let your audience know your feelings and then move on. Move on to another grift. I'm not gonna cry. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep on going. I'm gonna keep on going. So people are 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 coming in here. Let me add a couple moderators here. You know, we just gotta get our core group of people over to DLZ Clips. Now uh, you guys see why TeamDLZ.com was so important because, you know, they just took away, essentially they took away my, the way that I make money, you know, which is tough, but at the same time, that's, that's the way the game's played. This is why TeamDLZ.com was so important to me to get up and get going because I knew that this could come and so it did. They deleted the main channel. Well, maybe you shouldn't have trusted anybody with the uh, keys to your channel. When you hand over passwords and everything like that, you are taking a big risk in trusting people with this kind of information. Well, apparently you made enemies with those who had this information, and maybe one of those guys ended up P-bombing your channel in the night. Yeah, maybe that's what happened, and you don't want to own up to the fact that you made a boo-boo. But that's the typical mindset of the frauditor. Don't ever own up to your mistakes. If something goes wrong, blame the other guy. Bring out that persecution card and play it to its fullest extent. And so... Oh no, it's... it's I'm not... <laughs> the next thing is coming. Like, let's OTVO. I, I, I know this guy in real life. This guy right here, I know him. And he knows that the next thing we're doing is I'm creating a board game right now. I was just about to start showing the filming of building the board game, but my weekend kind of got spun and I ended up doing different stuff than I wanted to do. Chili, I don't think that your uh, particular board game will have any educational value whatsoever. I mean, the way you've described it in the past, I certainly wouldn't want to buy it, and I'm sure there would be a lot of school districts that would think twice before buying something from a grifting con man such as yourself. Now, I'm just going to go ahead and end the video right here by saying to you, Chili, karma is definitely 
a real bitch. You sent so many false copyright strikes against people who dared speak out against you because you're a sensitive little snowflake. And now you want to whine, cry, and complain when Daddy YouTube comes a knocking and shuts your channel down because you violated their terms of service. Do you not see the irony in this whole thing? If not, let me spell this out for you. You tried to silence others who spoke out against you. But when YouTube wants to uphold their terms of service, you want to whine, cry, and complain, and everything like that. Well, dude, all I have to say is man up, grow up hair, look yourself in the mirror, and say, I screwed up, I should fix this, and never do it again. But I know you won't do it, so I'm just going to leave it with this. Nobody really is going to miss you around here. Sayonara, punk. Now, with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one. <laughs> this could be some groundbreaking stuff right here. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?